Hey, welcome to video four of how to start a podcast. In this video, we're gonna go through everything you need to do to record your first podcast episode. When people ask Stephen King how to become a great writer, he always starts by telling them to become a great reader. In the same vein, you'll become a great podcaster by listening to podcasts. If you don't listen to podcasts already, start by subscribing to a handful and listening to some episodes. One of the big mistakes we see new podcasters make is they tend to ramble. Uh, The best way to fight this tendency is to go through and actually write out a podcast outline. Um, Now, you don't have to write it out verbatim, but if you take 15 minutes, sketch out an episode with maybe a handful of bullet points, it leads to dramatic improvements. One example we have would be our podcast, Buzzcast. We can actually post what the actual bullet points would be, but it's mostly about three main points. Travis sends it out to everybody on the podcast a few hours before we record, and each of us take a little bit of time to think about what we might say on each of those topics. If you're working with a co-host, share the outline with them early so that you can work on it together. Now you'll be on the same page and you can prevent your conversation from going down kind of a rabbit hole. If you're doing a news roundup or a highly scripted show, you'll want to write something verbatim. You can always ad lib and you can always, you know, play with your episodes, but writing out the script, especially for those styles, will help keep your podcast episode really structured. So next, let's talk about finding the best place to record your episode. While you might really enjoy like singing in the shower, recording in a small space with hard flat surfaces will almost always mean a more reverberant sounding recording. And that's not great for a podcast. Try to find a space with fewer reflective surfaces or a lot of material that can absorb or diffuse sound. If you don't, your voice will sound like it will bounce off all the walls and back into the microphone. And it will give your podcast a real echoey, hollow sound, like you're recording in a cave or something. You want to have furniture, carpet, even a closet full of clothes to absorb the sound. So for a lot of podcasters, the best place to record is in a walk-in closet. Now, look, this part is really critical because selecting the best place to record is honestly more important than picking the right headphones or editing software later on. The simplest way to deal with audio problems is to prevent them from happening in the first place. Uh, So if you get a crisp recording to begin with, you'll be much closer to a polished recording at the end. We're just gonna set up the stuff that we bought in the last video. First, we're looking at the ATR2100, this USB mic. Really, I'm just plugging it in to the bottom and plugging this guy right into my computer. That's why we really like it. It's really easy to use. One thing to remember is always make sure this guy's turned on. We've talked to people who have recorded entire episodes and been pretty disappointed by the sound quality because they didn't record with the mic turned on. So make sure you do that. Once you're plugged in, go into Audacity or GarageBand or Hindenburg, whichever software you decided to use in the last video, and make sure your microphone is highlighted as your audio input and as the audio output. Once you've selected your microphone, then you're ready to record. All right, so let's do a, just a short intro to mic technique. So once we've got the mic set up, we want to take a couple minutes to practice mic technique. So I'd actually recommend that you take a few minutes to actually practice these techniques uh, so that you are getting the best recording that you can get with your mic. Because every mic is a little different, every voice is a little different, It's good to experiment with this. So step one, first thing I want you to do is always remember to stay close to the mic. So this stand, I actually would get nice and close. How close you're to a mic determines the impact of what's known as a proximity effect on your recording. Basically, the closer you are to the mic, the more low frequencies that the mic is going to pick up, meaning you get more of a full sound or upfront sound when you're speaking into the mic. And if you naturally have a bit more nasally or high, you know, high pitched voice, like kind of like I do, you want to get close to that mic. 
For most people, this means about two finger lengths, maybe up to four. That's about the right spot. But you're gonna experiment with this to get the right distance for your voice and your mic. A consistent level is critical for a balanced recording. We're trying to avoid the extremes here, really. You know, we won't get the same recording in a whisper or a shout. You know, if you're a more dynamic speaker, back off the bike a bit when you're getting louder that help disperse the sound pressure um, as it hits the mic. You'll avoid, you know, any of the plosives or clipping that you might get otherwise. So we want to talk about being on access versus off access. Every mic has a different sound to it, which is defined by its sensitivity to different frequencies. Some mics are what we consider darker, which means they're more sensitive to lower frequencies, and others are brighter, meaning they're more sensitive to high frequencies. And actually changing the access of your microphone can change how bright or how dark a recording comes through. If you're noticing your mic is a bit too bright, you don't wanna speak on access. So this is on access pointing directly at my mouth. That's gonna give us the brightest recording possible. If I wanna make it a bit darker, I can turn it off access and speak more past the microphone. This will uh, make it less sensitive to those high frequencies and pick up more of the low frequencies. If you're not talking, you know, sit back so that your co-host knows you're listening to what they say. And when you are ready to talk, come closer so they know you have a point. What you don't wanna do is stay really close to the mic, breathing into it while someone else is talking, and you get that. <clears throat> I can't breathe in this thing! Total Darth Vader breathing noise throughout the whole recording. But last but not least, we need to grab a drink and start recording. So this can be coffee, this can be water, it can maybe be bourbon if that's your style, uh, depending on the time of day. But avoid soda, beer, LaCroix, because anything with carbonation is actually going to make it more likely you burp into the microphone. Um, also, avoid marijuana if you're a tech exec, because that will freak out your shareholders. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here so you can record your first podcast episode. Please remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be that good. Everyone who's a good podcaster now started off by being a pretty bad podcaster in the past. So that's what I want you to consider as you're recording. They don't have to be perfect. You will improve quite a bit over time. And in the next video, we're actually gonna talk about editing. So you're gonna have the ability to clean up any of the mistakes we have in the recording. So I'll leave you to it. I wish you the best on your first episode. And in the next video, we will edit the one that you record. See you there.